Well, first on Fox this Friday, you may have seen this structure on the square in Tyler. It's been many things over the years dating all the way back to the 1930s. Now the building is getting a facelift and being converted into a modern hotel in downtown. Fox 51's Nolan Hoffman is here to tell us about the project. Now, Nolan, what can we expect? Yeah, Katie, the old Greyhound bus station that also used to be apartments and a grocery store is now being transformed into a modern and they're hoping it to be a popular Airbnb. What we need is someplace for people to stay. Out with the old, in with the new. The Greyhound building built back in the 1930s in Tyler is now being rebuilt in hopes to help rejuvenate its downtown. We need to keep building on this to where enough people come to downtown. The managing member of the Tyler Union Station, Andy Bertfeld, said the building, which already has decades of history, was a perfect fit for a smaller, modern hotel. I've done projects with different people over the years, and we've been looking for the right spot to do a downtown little boutique hotel, because we need one down here. Bergfeld said the project has come a long way to where it's at right now. He added the building will have all the new and most updated upgrades, but it'll still have that vintage feeling to it. One of the people helping transform the building, Alan Barjas, said it feels good to be able to help the downtown grow. It's been a good time because it feels good that we're making the city better just by these little things. The hotel will consist of nine rooms total and the first floor will have a restaurant as well. Bergfeld said him and his team are still trying to figure out what to put in. He added they ran a poll online to see what the public wants to see. Overwhelmingly, they wanted a breakfast lunch place. So uh, we don't really have one of those downtown right now. And so maybe we'll look at that option. The Greyhound Inn is set to open sometime in mid-October. And during our conversation today, Bergfeld also telling me the hotel's website will go live after Labor Day and you'll be able to go on there and book your room. In studio, Nolan Hoffman, Fox 51 News. Looking forward to seeing it, Nolan. Thank you.